I, uh, <laughs> I've been, uh, sorry, I've, I've been beating my gums because I, I turned the microphone on, but in fact I didn't hit the switch properly, so I do uh, apologise. And um, so, uh, as usual, you get a, a, a bit of the way that a lot of you like me, is my mouth going ten to the dozen and no sound coming out. <laughs> it's only when I started to look for the little little band at the top that goes blink, blink, blink to tell me that there is sound going out that I, uh, I noticed that the thing was happening. <laughs> so I do apologise, but anyway, what I was saying was uh, the, the referendum was yesterday. We can expect the results, I think, uh, uh, today. I've looked at my usual sources, uh, good sources, uh, for news each morning uh, on this uh, Friday, May the 8th, in 2019, uh, and uh, th nobody has so far jumped up and down with uh, any sort of comments, so I assume that it's going to take a little while before we get the results of that referendum, but I wouldn't have thought it would be too long because uh, it, it, um, it was a, a straight issue, it was a yes or a no, um, and the uh, counting shouldn't, uh, shouldn't take that long. Anyway, we'll keep our eyes open throughout the day to see what's going to happen. For those people who are not in our area, I'm broadcasting from Lewis on the south coast, not quite the south coast, we're five or six miles inland up the River Ouse, um, uh, near to Brighton and near to Eastbourne, both coastal uh, communities and both resort towns, of course. But uh, uh, Lewis is the county uh, capital, the, the, the county town, the administrative centre for East Sussex, and our area ranges from Battle to Brighton, uh, north to Tunbridge Wells, and uh, also north to Gatwick, which in fact, uh, Gatwick is just over the border and is in, uh, is in West Sussex, but we're not going to uh, get too worried about a fine point like that. Uh, I'm Keith Hayes, and Mirador Television uh, is really setting out to make sure that there is a watchdog for the local council. And we have some uh, uh, very uh, good allies. The Local groups uh, on Facebook uh, do a very good job of uh, keeping on top of the various activities of uh, councillors and council members, uh, and because they're on the ground, uh, they know when there's fly tipping, they know when there's roads being picked up, they know when the uh, waste isn't isn't being uh, delivered properly to the uh, the, the waste uh, uh, centre. Um, so. 
We, they're, they're pretty good uh, journalists, if you like, reporters on the ground. And there are those groups, uh, uh, there are uh, two in almost every community right across uh, to, um, uh, to Hastings. But uh, um, particularly in the area that uh, uh, we have a lot to do with, and that is uh, New Haven, Seaford, uh, our own town, Lewis, uh, stretching to Falmer, um, north to Eckfield, uh, um, Eastbourne, uh, Hailsham, and we, we do take in Pevensey Bay uh, and uh, one or two more, and we're hoping to have Battle join us pretty soon. Uh, our reporting staff <laughs> is non-existent. I'm the, I'm the reporting staff. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, but our output is uh, limited as well. Uh, but that's expanding. We will soon have correspondence uh, from uh, the local areas. We've been playing with the technology to see which is the best way to bring uh, um, some. Excuse me, if I adjust my bum a bit. Uh, uh, local uh, using technology to to bring in some reporters, and I, I think that we've we've uh, cracked it. We have just got to make sure that it's reliable and that we know exactly how to use it. So very soon we shall have uh, various people reporting from the areas, from the regions. And also because our mantra is we are local but not parochial. And as a consequence, uh, we will have uh, um, people reporting in from places like uh, Pristina in Kosovo and um, uh, Victoria on the west coast of Canada, uh, from New York. Uh, and from uh, various parts of the world uh, where we can see what is concerning them and then relating it to what's concerning us and where there are parallels. Uh, for instance, the people in Victoria, British Columbia, they're eight hours difference and, and 5,000, 6,000 miles away, uh, but they have the same problems with their uh, uh, city council. Uh, Victoria is a city. It's In fact, it's the capital city of British Columbia, um, and not Vancouver, as one would think. Vancouver is the biggest city, but uh, Victoria is the capital city, and it's a beautiful place. Uh, and uh, it, it's relatively small because it is on the island. It's not on the mainland. Uh, and uh, it seems that the council is cocking everything up and um, the uh, citizens are having to form a, a similar sort of watch service to ourselves uh, uh, to make sure that it's not too badly uh, cocked up. Now, uh, coming back to us, we have uh, um, Lewis I. Uh, and uh, um, well, whoever runs Lewis I, a wonderful investigative journalism takes place there. We can tap in there any time and we get a really, really detailed view uh, and analysis of various decisions made by the council, uh, councils, and uh, because we also look at um, East Sussex County Council, uh, which stretches right across uh, the region, uh, the Lewis District Council, which covers uh, many of the tiny towns that we cover. And why do we call them tiny towns? Because uh, we, with the exception of Brighton, which actually isn't in our patch anyway, uh, uh, we, which is a city and has about a quarter of a million, no, it has about half a million people now, I think. Uh, most of us uh, are below 100,000, and uh, that uh, constitutes uh, very substantial communities, but still tiny towns in the scheme of things if you start to look at some of the major cities of the world. So we say we represent tiny towns, and indeed we look very carefully at what's going on there. Uh, so uh, the... Uh, uh, Lewis I uh, is very good at, at looking at um, Lewis in detail. Town and County Magazine uh, is uh, also picks up on various issues, uh, and uh, I do a bit of writing for that, so I'm aware of what's going on with them. And uh, also, uh, we have um, ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> ourselves <laughs> um, to be the mouthpiece, uh, and although it, it is a loose federation, uh, we, we're not uh, uh, we're not ganging together, uh, but it, it works. And the fact of the matter is, is the world has been um, bemoaning the fact that uh, local media is disappearing. Uh, uh, not of its own choice. Uh, Sussex Express has had to retrench. Uh, BBC uh, covers a wide area. Um, the uh, um, 
commercial uh, uh, um, Meridian Television uh, has, has a, a, a very large remit. So local media, in the true sense of the word, where we're looking at local councils uh, and local issues, uh, has started to disappear. And hopefully we're finding a formula. Um, it's, it's an informal formula to bring back good, honest local reporting. And that's why um, we are keeping an eye on the Lewis Neighbourhood Plan, because it's controversial. A lot of people, people say it's rubbish, and other people say that, it, that it's the best blueprint that we've got, and we take it forward. Um, I uh, personally uh, uh, fight with the council almost on a daily basis. Uh, I am not at all satisfied with their performance. And when I say that, I'm less down on the council, or I was until I went to a council meeting, than I am on the executive, who, who had seemed to not respond to anything, uh, uh, are bullies, to say the least, uh, and they, they are single-minded in, in what they do. All they, they do is they send out notices to get the uh, council tax in, and if you want to object to anything, they just simply ignore it and eventually get to the point where they say, we'll take you to court. Well, they've got to that point again with me, they're taking me to court, and I'm resisting it. And in fact, uh, I'm, I'm so uh, uh, eager this time to make sure that some things come out publicly uh, that uh, I, I'm... I was last time going to be Clarence Darrow, because they took me once before and, and, and stopped it at the last minute. Uh, I was going to be Clarence Darrow. I was going to make great speeches. And this time I thought, well, I'll make it you know, another chance to make great speeches. But I think it's got to such a serious stage uh, where uh, the incompetence is, is so incredible uh, that I'm going to take uh, legal counsel. And I'm very lucky because I, <laughs> I actually quite regularly have lunch with judges <laughs> and, and, and heads of chambers and that sort of thing. So I'm able to get a very, very good legal overview, and uh, that's what I'm going to do on this particular occasion, because it's all very well being David and Goliath, uh, and the council is Goliath. It's got all sorts of resources. Uh, I have none, uh, but by the same token, I do have a voice, and uh, I shall keep you apprised of what happens in this particular fight, uh, because I am not refusing to pay my council tax because I don't think that one should pay a council tax. On the contrary, I think we should all contribute, and I'm quite willing to contribute, but not until I've got the sensible answers and a sensible assessment of what the thing is all about. And the council just simply ignore anything that I say, have not a a allow me to have any sort of appeal process, uh, have, have not uh, entered into any dialogue. They could have resolved it quite easily, but they don't. That's the trouble with this council. It's secretive, and it just uh, works down in dark passages uh, in, in the whatever they call this place down in Lewis District Council. It looks posh from the, from the, uh, um, the outside when you go in, uh, but actually it, it seems to harbour dark secrets. Now let's just go on because the, the, you'll see some of the posters that I'm uh, putting up on Facebook if you, uh, if you search through, uh, because I am uh, not satisfied with the chair cabinet uh, um, system. Uh, the, the, the chair, inanimate object, but nonetheless they put a person there. Uh, the cabinet are a few people from the biggest group, uh, and they uh, um, uh, uh, act in a very secretive way. In fact, Councillor Caitlin at the last meeting said, you know, how on earth can we represent the people and tell the people what's going on if the cabinet won't even tell us? So that's how secretive it is. And I, I've now discovered that the cabinet system, which was introduced in uh, 2000 by Tony Blair, can be reversed. And in fact, I understand that Brighton and Hove have reversed it and have reverted to uh, the old committee system, which was everybody considered was a bit useless, uh, but nonetheless, it, it was useless with everybody involved. Uh, so let's, I prefer, for democratic purposes, to go back to um, a system where everybody is involved, even though the system is useless, rather than have a system which is so secretive, we have no idea what's happening, and which gives a chance for people to bully. I have never seen such a farce in all my life as the voting system in the, in the uh, uh, council. Pull the string, all the Muppets stood up. Pull the string again and they sat down. Little voice from the independent, pull the string, vote against. Pull the string, that's it. And, a, a, and a, a man who was saying he was so, the leader was saying he was so pleased that there was no more rancorous debate. That's what our system of government is all about, rancorous debate. Have it never been to the House of Commons? For God's sake. You know, where is happening? What is happening locally? I think that it's a, a, a few people want to try and tell us what to do for whatever the reasons uh, they have, whether it's uh, lining their pockets, and I have no evidence of that whatsoever, but, uh, or, or, or whether it's just a, a, a 
power lust and they want to be able to boss us around uh, because it makes their ego feel good oh well i've had enough of a rant this morning i've got to go because it's six o'clock and i've got to get the, the the radio going so if you want tune into rouser radio it's also on facebook um thanks very much for being with me this morning those of you who are us uh, our uh, audience is growing bit by bit by bit. Uh, we will soon have a voice that is really worthwhile listening to. Until then, toodle pip. I never made it, but I 